Hey guys, and welcome to Starry Sky in Spring. So, I have no idea what this game is about, I was asked to play it, and so I'm going to. I have no idea, uh, well, I already said I have no idea what it's about. But anyways, let's just jump in and let's find out. Okay, so our last name is going to be McGee. And our and our first name is gonna be Budface. Okay. Today is Monday, March 9th. A uh, shooting star. Eh? Where? Where? It's already disappeared. I was going to make a wish, too. A wish? If you make a wish in your heart three times before the shooting star disappears, your wish will come true. Really? Oh, I wish I'd seen it too. Don't worry, we'll definitely see one again. Yeah. Hey, what is the name of that star? That's Octorus of the Boots constellation. What about the really bright star underneath it? Leo's Dunbola, and the one underneath that is Virgo Spiga. When you connect all three stars with a line, they form a triangle, see? That triangle is called Spring's Big Triangle. They some or they somehow look like a group of three good friends. Huh? What's wrong? Arct what was it again? Arcturus. There's a star under Arcturus. That's the Big Dipper. My favorite constellation. It shines so brightly. It's beautiful, but it seems kind of lonely. The star seems lonely? Because it's all alone. That star probably wanted to be part of the triangle as well. But then it would become a quadrilateral. If you're going to put it that way, wouldn't it be a square? No, its shape is more of a parallelogram. Either way, it's fine. But as if saying, or it's as if saying, I'm right here. Let me be your friend too. Don't worry. The Big Dipper isn't all by itself. What do you mean? When you connect Arctris and Spica, the line curves, doesn't it? Yeah. If you pull that line any, or if you pull that line further, see, it connects with the Big Dipper. Oh, you're right. That curve is called Spring's Big Curve. It's not alone after all, is it? Well, I'm glad. Ah, shooting star. Huh. Were you able to make a wish this time? Yeah. Someday. Just like this, with everyone. Hmm. Is that the homeroom bell? That shooting star was just a dream. Even so, it felt extremely real. From the feeling of the wind on my face to the smells, even though it was a bit chilly, my right hand was warm. A soft feeling of touch. Just holding that hand gave me a very peaceful feeling. That shooting star and the warm feeling of touch. Was it all really just a dream? Heh? Heh? No way! I'm going to be late! Why didn't my alarm go- or my alarm clock go off? Oh, I have to hurry and get ready! I got ready and left my room quickly. This is the boarding school, Sagetsu Academy. There are six departments of study to choose from and pursue for three years. Hoshi or Hoshiyomi, Horoscope, Fortune Telling, Heavenly Phenomena, Mythology, and Space. Originally, Segotsu Academy was an all-boys school, but recently they have changed their policy and have begun accepting female students. However, the school is lo located in a rural area and the curriculum is both highly specialized and difficult. So there is only one female student currently enrolled here. Saigetsu Academy's only female student. How could I be late to the closing ceremony? Me, McGee Buttface. Yo, morning, Buttface. You're part of the coming late group as well? That's unusual. The opposite of my hurried running is Nanami Kanata who is walking leisurely while stifling a yawn. Kanata, like me, is the second year in the Heavenly Phenomena Department. We have been childhood friends since we were little. Kanata, good morning! Ah, oh, your cheek is bruised. Have you been fighting again? 
Oh, but face, you're starting to sound like Sus or Susia. Sorry to make you lecture so early in the morning. Lecture? I'm just worried about you. Hurry up and get going, or you'll be late. I'm off. After interrupting me, Kanata ran off. Hey, wait up! I dashed after Kanata. At this rate, I really am going to be late. Lucky! Just barely safe. Seems like the homeroom teacher hasn't gotten here yet. I rushed into the classroom right after Kanata did. Seems as though it, I made it in time. Right? Kanata, you're fast! Whew. Made it in time. Made it in time. Uh, you were anything but just barely safe. You were completely late. The last bell went off a long time ago. Uh, Susia? This is Tozuki Susia, my other childhood friend. Susia, Kanata, and I have all lo or loved looking up at the stars ever since we were little. That's why we all wanted to study the stars at Seigetsu Academy. Without hesitation, the three of us decided to take the entrance exam. In a school full of boys, I am the only girl. At first, I was a bit uneasy and worried. However, the ones who helped me or helped put me at ease were Susia and Kanata. If the two of them were by my side, I or weren't by my side, I wonder just how helpless and lost I would have been. Susia, good morning. A uh, good morning. Kanata is one thing, but for you to be late is rare, butt face. Must have stayed up too late, huh? That's not it. I just had a strange dream. A strange dream? A dream about when we were younger, but oh, I don't really remember it. Don't talk about dreams while you're awake. Oh, I'm getting sleepy again. Hey, Kanata, don't fall asleep while you're still standing. Here, have a seat. Oh, jeez, you really are troublesome. Hey, Susia, did they already take attendance? The homeroom teacher hasn't come yet. Oh, uh, besides, I'm the one on day duty today. That means... I adjusted the attendance for Kanata as well, but just for today. Oh, thank you. Adjusted seriously? Jeez, you're too easy on butt face, Susia. Kan er, Kanata is strict enough. Hey, who's our homeroom teacher anyway? Are they still in the staff room? Apparently, there's a new transfer student, so he might have gone to greet them. A transfer student? At this time of the year? Well, that's unusual. Transferring right after finals, <laughs> lucky guy. Certainly. The timing is pretty strange. During the closing ceremony, too, I wonder if there's some sort of reason. Transferring at such a bizarre time. Oh, I wonder what kind of person the new student is. Homeroom is starting. Everyone take your seats. Our conversation was interrupted when the teacher came into the classroom. We hurried to our seats. Following the homeroom teacher was a boy. He had intense, pale red eyes. I wonder if he's a foreigner. His face was simply stunning. He has a face just like a girl's. Kanata, don't say that with such a loud voice. It's rude, you know. But, Susia, you thought so as well, right? Well, certainly I thought that his face was feminine. Quiet down, Nanami. Tozuki. Crap. Thanks to Kanata, you got mad at me as well. Jeez. Hmm? He's staring at me. I wonder why. Won't look away. I have a feeling this isn't the first time we have met. Oi, buttface. Why are you staring at the transfer student? Don't tell me. You're fascinated by him. I, I'm not really fascinated by him. Is he someone you know? No, I don't think so. Rejoice, you guys. We have a transfer student. Now that I look, a, now that I look, a guy. Oh, I'm also slightly disappointed. He seems to have transferred here from France. Everyone be courteous. With the arrival of the transfer student at this time of the year, the classes have filled with chatter. 
which of course isn't unreasonable. His un-Japanese-like looks are quite eye-catching. On top of that, he also gives off a mysterious aura. Um, nice to meet you. I'm Tomoe Yo. I hope we can get along. He used French while introducing himself. I wonder what he said. Since, since he's from France, I wonder if he's also half Japanese. Even or even though he had to, had the decency to say, I hope we get along, he was absurdly expressionless. Oh, I'm sure he's nervous. Tomoe, your seat is next to McGee. McGee, be sure to help him out. Y yes Next to me? Oh, I hope we can get along. With the teacher's push, Tomoe-kun walked over towards the seat next to me. It's a pleasure to meet you, Tomoe-kun. I'm McGee Buttface. I hope we get along. This isn't our first time meeting. I know you, Buttface. Eh? You know me as well, since long ago. What do you mean? As he looks at me, his blank expression vanishes for a moment. Oh, God, his face. <laughs> to be replaced by a carefree smile. <laughs> That's a carefree smile. Wait, are his lips really that big? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that smile triggered a sense of nostalgia in me. Perhaps we really have met before. Um, Tomoe kun where did we... Without answering my question at all, his eyes look gently down. Then he goes to a seat and gazes at me with his chin on his hands. Suddenly meeting his gaze at the same height causes my heart to flutter. It's all right, or it's all right if you call me Hijutsu. You used to always call me that. Hijutsu? How nostalgic, because I haven't been called that, or called by that name for a long time. I'm happy to have, or to be able to meet you like this again is, it feels just like a dream. Huh? Class is starting. Open your textbooks. The bell interrupted our conversation. As he looked up at the blackboard, Tomoe-kun's um, Tomoe stoic expression returned. I peeked at his face from the side. My heart grew unsteady. Well, morning classes are finally over. Shall we go eat in the cafeteria? Sure. You're coming along too, right, Kanata? What's wrong? Why are you staring at the transfer student? That transfer student? I don't like him. He's been staring at Buttface this whole time. Eh? Huh? Uh, he looked at me this time. No matter how you look at it, he's glaring at me. That's perfectly fine with me. If he wants a piece of me, I want a piece of him too. Kanata, don't fight with the Hitsuji kun. Hitsuji? What's with that? Since when did you become close enough to call him by his nickname? Um, it seems like it started a long time ago, although I don't really remember it too well. What do you mean you don't remember it too well? Were you guys acquainted? I can't really say for sure. But, Faze, may I speak with you for a bit? Hmm? Uh, what is it? Don't speak so friendly with her. What do you need with Buttface? Kanata! Cut it out, Kanata! The only one I have business with is Buttface. Could outsiders please not interfere? Oh, what did you say? Stop it, Kanata! Hitsuji kun, what did you want to talk to me about? I've always wanted to meet with you. I dreamed of the day I could meet with you like this. After saying that with a gentle smile, he moved in close the distance or enclosed the distance between us. Huh? Oh gosh! Oh! I have been or I have been counting my fingers for this day, ever since that day I was separated from you. He did again. Just now, he kissed me on the cheek, didn't he? Why you? What are you doing to her? Get away from Bud Face! This is the French greeting. Bisset. Is there a problem? There are lots of problems. Hurry up and get away. If you don't behave yourself, I'll send you flying. Calm down, Kanata. Tomoe-kun. Could you explain what's going on for us? 
I have no reason to listen to you guys. Could you leave the two of us alone? <laughs> Hitsuji kun, this is a bit, um. Oh, what was that? Suzy, I even asked you nicely. Stop it, Kanata. Hitsuji kun, you shouldn't provoke Kanata either. I would also like to hear an explanation. What exactly do you mean that this isn't the first time we have met? Henry. Henry Samuel Jean Ami. That's my real name. Haven't you heard it before? Ah! Uh, it seems like you remembered who I am. I'm glad. I, I'm giving him an Asian accent when he's French. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Don't, don't even. Yeah, let's just stick with it. I, I'm too far into it. Is, uh, is he somebody you know? Yeah, I just remembered. I met him when I went to play at Grandma's house as a child. You couldn't quite grasp my French name back then, so I showed you how to write my Japanese name, Tomoeyo. Oh, that's right! And then you began to call me Hitsujikun. I was really happy, because it was the first time someone ever gave me a nickname. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to remember right away, but that's because you've grown so much, Hitsujikun. I look grown up, really. You've become quite a lovely lady yourself, Buttface, although the younger you was charming as well. Hitsuji kun! At Tomoe kun's words, my heart fluttered a bit. La la la. Wait, la la lady, you say? He's seething. Uh, he's seething shameless speech through his teeth and his body language. Yeah, yeah, just like a romantic line from the movies. Suzia, this isn't the time to be impressed. Uh, Buttface, are they comedians? Eh? Yeah, right. <laughs> Certainly our relationship seems like a comedy duo. I'm sorry, Hitsuchi-kun. I haven't introduced them to you yet. Um, this is Tozuki Suzuya, my childhood friend from a long time ago. If you're Buttface's childhood friend, then you're our friend as well. Oh, nice to meet you. W well, uh, let's try to get to know each other better. A little out of time, shall we, Tomoe Kun? Th that's right! I believe we'll definitely open up to each other. It uh, would be fine if only Buttface and I got along. <laughs> I guess I was rejected. These things take time bit by bit, right, Suzia? Hitsuji kun too? If uh, that is what you want, then I'll try my best. <sighs> Wait, phew, the future looks like it's going to be full of obstacles. Did you say something? Uh, nothing at all. Well then, continue with before, butt face. Uh, yeah. Hitsuji kun, this is not er, Nanami Kanata. Although he is quick to fight, he's actually a good person. What do you want? Nothing. Stop or stop glaring at each other, you two. Ah. Huh? Just now I remembered something. Wait, guys. This isn't the first time we've all met, right? If I remember correctly, when we were younger, the four of us um, all went stargazing together, didn't we? All three of them tilt their heads slightly at, at my question. Am I wrong? But this morning's dream had felt so real. If that's the case, what was that dream? That must have been your mistake. If I had met Tomoe-kun, I would have definitely remembered it. <laughs> Are you saying that because I'm half? And you want to say that I am different from others, right? No way! I didn't mean it uh, that way at all! Well, I have confidence in my memory, and if it was Buttface's friend, I would definitely remember. I wonder if I got my own memories confused. But this morning's dream was too real. Then what exactly was that dream? It, it seems that I was mistaken. I'm sorry for uttering nonsense. Uh, anyway, we're all classmates from now on, so let's get along. Come on, shake hands. If there's something you don't understand, don't hesitate to ask. Got it, I'll remember that. They shook hands awkwardly. Come on, Kanata, shake hands too. I refuse. Eh? 
This is the first time we have agreed on something. We have the same thing in mind. No way! I don't like him. I don't have- or I have no intention of getting along with him anyway. Uh, Kanata? Where are you going? A place where he isn't around! Kanata? With that, Kanata left, slamming the door forcefully. I'm sorry, Hitsuchi-kun. He really is a good- Oh, wait, whoops. <clears throat> uh, he really is a good guy. It's just that he's confused by your sudden appearance. Well, I think he is just being shy. He'll be back to his regular self by tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. You shouldn't let it bother you, Tomoe-kun. I don't mind. I was able to meet butt face again. That is enough for me. Hitsuchi-kun. You are all I need. There's nothing I need but you. When he said that, Hitsuji smiled at me gently. Oh, my Kokoro's going donkey donkey. But anyways, this is all the time that I have for this episode. So if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.